All right, welcome back everyone. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about matrix multiplication in the sense that how two matrices are multiplied and we're gonna be spending quite some time on it because as I mentioned earlier that this is one of the most important concept in matrices. Now two matrices can only be multiplied if a certain condition is met. So that condition is two matrices, as you can see here, can only be multiplied if the number of columns of the first matrix, all right, let's underline the keywords here. If the number of columns of the first matrix so columns first and matrix, these are my keywords here, is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Now, let's see what that means. Now, if I write down the order of the matrix, the first matrix here, so that order, as we can see, is three by two. And then if I write down the order of the second matrix here, that order is two by one in the sense that it has two rows and one column. Now, we can see that the number of columns of the first matrix two is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. So that means it is possible to multiply these two matrices. But now, now we come to the most important question is that how are we going to multiply two matrices? All right, so we're going to understand matrix multiplication with the help of this example. And remember, whenever you're multiplying two matrices, you got to remember that we take every row and we multiply it to every column. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's let's understand that. So what I what I mean by that is simply that I'm going to take my first row. All right, here's my first row, and then I'm going to multiply it with both the columns here one by one. So the first thing I need to do is I need to multiply row one with column one and the way I'm going to do that is and by the way one other thing that uh, we should look into right now is that the order of the first matrix is three times two the order of the second matrix is two times two right now we can see that since the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second which means that the two matrices can be multiplied so what what we can figure out is that once I've multiplied the two matrices the resulting matrix the order of the resulting matrix is going to be equal to three times two all right you can figure that out by taking the rows of the first matrix and by taking the columns of the second. So let's let's start with the multiplication. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first element of the first row and then I'm going to multiply this with the first element of the first column, right? So three times one. So three times one. I'm going to write it as three times one, right? We'll multiply it in the next step. And then I'm going to take the second element of the first row and I'm going to multiply it with the second element of the first column. So four times three. And we're going to put a plus sign in between. So three times one plus four times three, all right? We'll evaluate this in the next step, as I said. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick to this row, this row here, three, four, and then I'm gonna multiply it with the second column. So once I multiply it with the second column, my result is also gonna be written in the second column. So that means the first column is done here. Now I'm gonna move to the second column. So in the second column, so three here is gonna be multiplied with minus five. So let me just write three times minus five, close the bracket, put a plus sign in between. And then four here is gonna be multiplied Multiplied by two. So second element, second element. So four times two, all right? Close the bracket. We're done with this. Now let's move to the next row. And then next row we have again one, all right? So let me, let me use a different color for that. Let me use the color green. So here we have one seven and this one seven is gonna be multiplied with again one three. So one times one, right? You saw that coming probably. And then seven times three. So seven times three. Let's close the bracket here. And then one times minus five, one times minus five plus seven times two, seven times two. Now I'm gonna switch to the third and the final row. So for that, let me switch to orange, I guess. So here we have five minus two. This five minus two is gonna be multiplied with one, three. So five with one. So five times one, close the bracket put a plus sign, minus two times three. So minus two times three, close the bracket. Move to the next column. So we're gonna multiply this uh, five minus two with this minus five and two. So five times minus five, five times minus five plus minus two times two, minus two times two. All right, so now let's evaluate all of this. So for that, let's switch to a neutral color. So here we have it. So three times one is gonna be three. So I'll just write three here. And then four times three is gonna be 12. So three plus 12, that's gonna be 15. And then we have three times minus five, which is gonna be minus 15. And then four times two, which is gonna be eight. So 15 minus negative 15 plus eight is gonna give me negative seven. Is that correct? Yep, that sounds good. And then one times one is gonna be one. Seven times three is gonna be 21. So one plus 21 is 22. So far so good. One times minus five is gonna be minus five. And then seven times two is 14. So 14 minus five is gonna be positive nine. I really hope I don't make a calculation error here. And then five times one is gonna be five plus minus six. So that's gonna give me negative one. 
5 times minus 5 is minus 25 plus minus 4. So that's minus 29. Let me just double check. Yep, looks good to me. So this is how you can multiply two matrices. I hope it's clear. In case it's not, sit tight. We're going to do another example. Now, I've categorically chosen an example like this one because I need to point out that a common error that a lot of students make here is that they take this 5 here, right, this 5 here, and then they treat these two matrices as if we're adding or subtracting them. And then they multiply it with 1, and then they do the same with negative 3. They would multiply it with minus 4. And uh, obviously, they get the question wrong, right? So that's not how you're supposed to do questions like these. That's not how you're supposed to do matrix multiplication, all right? As I said, what we need to do is we need to multiply a row with a column, all right? So I'm going to take this row here, all right? I'm going with the color red. And then I'm going to multiply it with this column. So that means I'm going to take 5, and then I'm going to multiply 5 with one all right so let's write that let's be good students so five times one close the bracket plus minus three times three so minus three times three so this row right now is done being multiplied with this column so i'm going to switch to the column next to it and for that let's switch the color all right so i'm going to go with green now so this row right here is going to be multiplied with this column all right so this needs to be multiplied with five is going to be multiplied with minus four so 5 times minus 4 plus minus 3 is going to be multiplied with 0. So minus 3 times 0, right? Now, let's switch to the row below it, okay? So here we have 4, 2. This 4, 2 is going to be multiplied with this column, right? Let me just make a blue arrow here so that you know what's going on. So 4 times 1, 4 times 1 plus 2 times 3, all right? Second row, uh, second element, second element. Second element of the second row, second element of the first column. So here we have 2 times 3. Okay, now let's multiply it with the column next to it. And obviously my result is also going to be written in the column next to it. So 4 times minus 4. So 4 times minus 4 plus 2 times 0. So 2 times 0. Now let's uh, evaluate all of this with a neutral color. So 5 times 1 is going to be 5, and then plus minus 9. So plus minus 9, that's going to be equal to negative 4. 5 times minus 4 is going to be equal to minus 20 plus 0. So that's going to stay minus 20. 4 times 1 is going to be 4. 2 times 3 is going to be 6. So 4 plus 6 is going to give me 10. And this is going to be minus 16 plus 0. So that's just going to stay minus 16. All right, so this is how you multiply two matrices. I hope it's clear now. In case it's not, nothing to worry about. Let's do another example. All right, so again, Again, I have two matrices here that I need to multiply. So let's write down the order of both the matrices. So the order of the first matrix is 3 times 1. The order of the second matrix is 1 times 3. So we can see that these two matrices are going to can be multiplied because the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second, right? As we saw earlier. And I can also see that once I multiply the two, the order is going to be 3 times 3. That means I'm going to have a matrix with three rows and three columns. Okay, interesting. Now let's multiply the two matrices. Let's make a big matrix. So here I have three. Now I just have three here, right? I have no other element in this row. And then in, in, in this column here, in this column here, I just have one. So I have no other element. So that means I'm simply going to multiply three with one. Okay. So I'll just write three times one here so that you can see what's going on. And then I'm going to take the same three and I'm going to multiply it with five, right? So that means three times five. And then the result you can see is written in the second column, right? I'll write C2 here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same three and I'm going to multiply it with minus four. And since minus four, is in the third column and three is in the first row so row one column three so that means my result is also going to be in row one column three so three times minus four is going to give me well let's just write three times minus four right now let's switch to the row below it and in it we have one so one is going to be multiplied with one so I'll, I'll just write one here there's no point in writing one times one and then this same row is going to be multiplied with five so again i'll just write five here and then this same one is going to be multiplied with minus four so it's going to give me minus four as it is now finally we're towards the end and for that we'll have to multiply two with all these elements one by one so two times one is going to give me 
2 and then 2 times 5 is is going to give me 10 and then finally 2 multiplied with negative 4. So 2 times negative 4 is going to give me negative 8. Now let's write down the final answers in a neutral color. So 3 times 1 is going to be 3, 3 times 5 is going to be 15 and 3 times minus 4 is going to be negative 12 and everything else as it is carry forward. Now you can see that as we saw earlier that the order of the matrix of the resulting matrix is going to be 3 by 3. You can see that the order of the resulting matrix is in fact 3 by 3. So I really hope you guys are getting the hang of this concept in case you're not let me know in the comment section however there is still one example that I need to do and then we are going to be officially done with this concept all right so this is the fourth and the final example that we're going to be doing of matrix multiplication okay so we have two matrices here as you can see the order of the first is one by three one row three columns the order of the second is three by one so we can see that obviously they're going to be multiplied and we can also figure out that the order of the resulting matrix is going to be one by one what does that mean that means the resulting matrix is just going to have one element right one row and one column that's it so let's let's multiply the two and see what do we get so i'm going to take this row we just have one row and then i'm going to multiply it with this column so again we just have one column so the answer is going to be obtained by so i'm going to take this one here which is the first element and then i'm going to times it by five which is also the first element so one times five and then I'm going to take this 2 here, I'm going to times it with minus 2 and then I'll put a plus sign in between. Why? Because we're in the same row and the same column. So for as long as you haven't switched a row or a column, your answer is going to have plus sign in between. So 2 times minus 2, alright? And then, and then minus 4 times 4. So plus minus 4 times 4. So as we have no other column here and as we have no other row here, so that means that's it. We just need to evaluate what you've what we've written. So 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, and then uh, 4 minus 4 times 4 is negative 16. Let's evaluate this and see what do we get. So 5 minus 4 is 1. Yeah, 1 minus 16 is minus 17. So there you have it. As we saw earlier that the answer is going to be a 1 by 1 matrix, which it is. So I really hope this concept is clear now. In case it's not, you guys know what to do. Just let me know in the comment section, right? I'll come up with something for you. And in case you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends, classmates and whoever you think can possibly benefit from it. So take care. Until next time, peace.